So I'm yeah, just walking down the hall to my sister's room. We're doing another tour, but I think this one I can actually film, so that'll be interesting. It's one of those hot days, you know. The sitting here in the baking sun, uh, hopefully it's gonna, I don't see you can see that, but hopefully it's gonna rain in a little bit. I mean, I would, I would appreciate a flash flood right now. It's that hot. But yeah, we're just uh, sitting here waiting on our uh, tour guide. We got stood up the first time. Hopefully we don't get stood up the second time. If we get stood up a second time, I'm gonna be the No, but yeah. It's gonna be the first time I'm ever gonna be mad and ask for a refund. Yeah, yeah, if we get stood up a second time, we're gonna ask for a refund. I'm gonna go back to the hotel and go to sleep. All right. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're gonna get stood up. So I guess we're just gonna hang out and check out the cool park. And um, tour's not coming. We uh, spent $90 on a tour that we can't do now. So uh, we will be trying to get a refund. But I'm gonna check out the rest of the park and just chill and you know. I mean, I'm already here, I might as well. All right. Nice little pond in the middle of the park. Bridge. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna do my panning. I like the pan. Oh, it's a turtle. It's a couple turtles and a fish. Turtle? Yeah, it's a painted turtle. He ducked under. So that's pretty cool. Lily pads, I think. The turtles were over there. They're fighting or something. Oh, it's so cool, man. It's the eagle. Cool. Let's go up here. It's a phenomenal statue. It's a cool statue. I'll come back and see that. Let's check out this bridge. It's a theater of performing arts. That's pretty cool. Honestly, this is probably cooler than the tour we would have gone to. It is. Oh yeah, you don't want to be in there. Come hang out. So, got back to the hotel. I don't know if you can tell, but man, uh, I feel like a lobster right now. It's uh, you just bake in the in the the sun out there. Uh, we had fun, uh, Spike getting ripped off for like $90. I mean, it's going to be hard to get that back. A lot of these play, you know, a lot of these tours in New Orleans, the thing they don't tell you is that they're, they're private contracted and so you're probably not going to get your money back, but you know, a lot of people don't know that. That's something we just found out today. So, uh, hopefully we do get our money, you know, get, get the money back and, everything else but you know i had more fun at the park just walking around than i probably would have on the tour so it's win-win you know i've been doing a lot of walking uh on this tour uh, i mean on this this trip i think i've i'm averaging close to four miles a day 
which isn't bad because I, I kind of did a lot of walking leading up to this this trip because I was supposed to go to Amsterdam but they locked it down two weeks before we were supposed to go and then after we uh redid the tickets they um and we got the vouchers for the tickets they opened back up so we're kind of stuck there with European trips which is going to make a great you know series for for the vlog travel vlog but uh it just kind of sucks is I should be in Amsterdam right now, you know, and um, I'm not, I'm here, which is fine. I, I love New Orleans, but it's just, it's blistering hot. I mean, it's so hot. You, you go outside 15 minutes, you come into the air conditioning and there's smoke coming off you. It's that hot. Um, I didn't drink a lot of water today. Uh, uh, my sister, my two sisters that I came with, they didn't drink a lot of water today, I don't think. Um, my one sister kind of seems like she, she might have, like, heat stroke or something. Like that. It's just, it's really, really, really hot. Coming in July to New Orleans was the worst idea. I mean, the epically bad idea. But, um, you know, we're going to have fun. Uh, I think we're all going to rest and... Um, I'm I'm here in my room. I have you know my, my room by myself. You know, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna put on some clean clothes. And I think we're gonna try to do a jazz bar thing tonight or something like that. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, one of the things I will say to like people who've never been to New Orleans, you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. Unless you unless you find a place in the in the heart of the French Quarter, you're going to be doing a lot of walking. You 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 better be prepared to walk uh, three to four miles a day, seriously, and sometimes farther. Because if you're on these walking tours, what they'll tell you is it's it's two three hours long, but you're walking almost the whole time. So. Be prepared for that. Make sure you have uh, shoes. Um, if you come in the summertime, make sure to bring two pairs of shoes. That's a mistake I made. I only brought one pair and I ruined them. Um, it's like $200, $200 pair of shoes. Uh, they're, they're ruined. Um, so, I mean, I'm still wearing them, but they're falling apart. It's just like there's something about the, the rain here. It's, just, it's heavy. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like it's a lot. It's, it has, like, texture to it, and it just goes right through your shoes. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, this, this is a great place. The food's amazing. The people are, are top-notch. The people are the nicest people I've ever met. Uh, that's, that southern hospitality, it, it's, it's true. You know, they're very hospitable. They're very nice people. Um, the tour, there, there's two different types of tours you can do. You can do a historic tour which will give you the actual history of, of the city, or you can do a ghost tour. And one of the things you have to understand about the ghost tours is they are fun and they are interesting, but they have an agenda. Their agenda is to make you believe in what they're selling you. So what they're telling you is they're telling you that there's ghosts and vampires. There might be, I don't know, who knows, you know? But I'm sure these people don't know, you know? Out of all the people that might possibly know if there's such thing as ghosts and vampires, I'm pretty sure this tour guide doesn't know, you know? Because if they did, they wouldn't be a fucking tour guide, you know? They'd have a show in Vegas or something like that. But um, that's not to say that they're, that they're bad tours. I mean, they're very interesting tours. But if you're going to do a tour that... that is, is based on actual factual history. Uh, I would look for those. Because the ghost tours are plainly labeled ghost tours. The same with the voodoo tours and stuff like that. And if you do the historic tour. It takes care of all of it. You don't have to do multiple tours. That's another thing they don't tell you. The ghost tour may say something about, about uh, vampires or voodoo or something like that. But it, it's only peppered in there enough to where you want to buy another tour. 
and just so happens they do tours for that too so they're trying to get, trying to milk it for as much money as they can just do the historic tour that's it the historic tour will tell you everything you need to know about the city actual history about the city and yeah you know i mean but if you do want to do the ghost tours they are pretty cool go go to the ones at nighttime because uh, I think that they, they normally run them in the, like, earlier in the day, like, two or three, and some at five and six. Try to find a later one. Those are the ones to do. And don't, those horses that they, the, the horse drawn carriage things, don't do that. Because those poor horses, I mean, you, if you come here and look how those horses are treated, it's pretty, pretty horrible. But uh, other than that, man, the food's great. The people's great. Music's amazing. Um, it's a different... It, it almost feels like you're not in America. It feels like you're in, in the Caribbean or or in, in uh, Spain somewhere. Or It doesn't really feel like you're in France. It feels like you're somewhere else. Like, like you know, somewhere that's not America and not France. It's, it's just... A, it's weird culture. And and any thought you have of New Orleans when you come here, it's probably true. If you think the place is uh, spooky, yeah, it's spooky. If you think it's amazing, yeah, it's amazing. The food's great. People's awesome. You know, it's just, it's exactly what you think it is. And uh, I can't say that about Los Angeles. Uh, I can't say that about... Chicago, I can't say that about New York. I can't say it about a lot of places, but I can say it about here. This place is exactly the way you think it is. And it's amazing. So, all right. I spoke on, <laughs> I just kind of ran it on for a while. Uh, I'll pick this up later on. All right. Yeah, so <laughs> I came over and my sisters in their room, they have this vegan spread. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Where did this stuff come from? Um, the beignets, so the little donuts came from seed. And then these other, all the actual like food came from a place called Vegan with a Twist. Oh man, they look so, what is that? Mm -hmm. a Philly steak? Mm -hmm. Oh man, these look so good. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so, after six and a half hours, we have a new tour that we're going to go on. Uh, it's a night tour of cemetery, which I mean, I don't really know if you're going to be able to see anything because it's nighttime. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they'd have flashlights and stuff like that, but <sighs> yeah, hopefully this one works out. If not, uh, that bed behind me, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go sleep because it's getting ridiculous. I mean, it's still light outside, but it's so damn hot, man. It's not it's, it's, it's hot time summer in the city. You know, it's just hot as hell. All right, well, I'll either end it here or if we actually do go on the tour, I'll post some of that. Alrighty. Pick my mom up this. It's three nine. It's three ninety nine. But who cares about the price? And this looks cool. And she's into this kind of stuff. So you know, she does have one from New Orleans. So now she does. So I'm at this place where they said so like all these really cool shoes, and my sisters are in there, and I can't go in because there's no foods or drinks allowed. I got stuck holding their drinks. It's kind of how my life goes. Okay, changed and uh, waiting for my sisters to get ready so we could go try to do this tour that probably won't be there when we get there. So these people are not buried in boxes. It's going to be a cotton shroud or just a burlap bag. 
we don't put the chemicals in the body. So when you put it in the earth, it, the, the earth does what it's supposed to do. It takes that body back. Ashes to ashes. There you go. So they just turn the earth with everybody, like all the bones and stuff, slide the new body in, put the earth back, put the concrete back, put the um, grass back on top. checking out how cool this is look at this it's creepy as hell got my sister doing all Album art. I'm taking cool pics. What'd you say? Got you doing album art. I am. Walking away from the tour a little bit. Checking out some of the cool stuff. If you guys come to uh, New Orleans, you should definitely do a tour similar to this. Look how old that is. I almost feel disrespectful doing this, but uh, we were told that it was perfectly fine. and So, I mean, that's the only reason why I'm... The only reason I'm doing this, but... Man, this is, this is really neat. This would be a horrible way to be buried, though, I think. Well, I guess not. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're dead, you're dead. This is pretty, pretty cool. So we stopped to get some beignets and some coffee. It's a great tour. I uh, think we're gonna go ghost hunting or something like that. I don't know. It's gonna be neat though. Okay. Cross for yes, open for, for no. And my, is there a spirit here? But you changed the rules. Did you say, you, you said cross yeah. for? Because cause it, I, it was open for uh, yes. Just letting you know, it was open for yes. Open, right. open for yes, cross for no. Okay. Is there a spirit here? Can you please point to my sister Lindsay holding the camera? Are you holding it too high? No. Oh no, you're not, okay. Are you afraid of me? I think you have to hold it a little lighter. I think you're clenching it too much, yeah. I'm barely holding it. Like hold it. it with like two fingers. Yeah, okay. Okay. Can you please point to my sister Lindsay? That's my sister Ash. I'm one of the sisters. You have to I, point to my I'm sister Lindsay. Lindsay's the one holding the, 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 the light. Can you please point to her? Are you tired? I'm sorry. Please point to Lindsay. 
Thank you. Does it take a lot of energy to move the rods? Open for yes, close for no. Do you like communicating? You're holding it. In, you're holding that one. In no, th this one keeps keeps getting light. Stop. Okay. Okay, I'll ask. Okay, here we go. Okay. Do you like communicating with the people that come here? Open for yes. Is there a spot here you want us to see? Yes. Can you cross when we get close to it? <laughs> or just pull. It's here? Or are they say, just saying yes? No, that's no. That means no. Okay. Can, uh, can you point to where you want us to go? Yeah, this thing's moving in my hand, dude. It's like Jared, it's like moving up and down. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Straight ahead? Okay. This way. It keeps pointing that way. It wants us to go over here? Over here? Straight. He even wants me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just like, no, sorry. He's like, I want you to get the fuck out of here. You're <laughs> <laughs> and annoying and you smell. Like, please, no. <laughs> It's like, yes, I want you to go to the entrance and leave. <laughs> this way? This way. It is, it's like leave. Let's go to leave. Do you want Joel to give me 40 bucks? <laughs> you remembered his name. <laughs> it actually moved there. It's okay. Pretty cool though. All right, do you want to try it? I don't know why they're moving like that. Okay, so man, it was a pretty, uh, pretty long day. I'm uh, going back to my room, gonna watch a little bit of TV, and uh, probably go to sleep. Man, it was hot, super hot, even at nighttime, it's super hot. Uh, man, I'm just glad to be back. So we went ghost hunting. We did a whole bunch of cool stuff and, um, I got to film it. <laughs> so that's cool. You know, it's a bonus. So I'm signing out. Well, signing off. I'm tired. Don't mind me. All right. See ya.